In this presentation, we look at the expected value of a random variable. So here's our example. There, we have this random variable x, and there are five possible values for this random variable. 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And the probability of each of these values is tabulated below. Now you notice that we're not given a probability for the outcome, the value 4. So we have to compute that first off. So compute the value of k, i.e. the probability of x equal to 4. How do we do that? Well, first off, we sum up what we have so far, the probabilities so far. So 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 here and here. And now that's 0 0.2 and 0 0.15, we get a, a summation of 0 0.75. Now necessarily, the, the sum total of the probabilities should add, add up to 1. So what we would do is we would put in the value that will give us a total of 1 for the entire uh, the summations of the probability. The only v the value that would fit there is 0 0.25. So the probability of x the the probability of x equal to 4 is 0 0.25. In other words, the value of k is 0 0.25. So that's a little bit of an extra problem to start off with. Now what we're going to do is actually compute the expected value of a random variable. So this is our tab. Uh, table of probabilities. What we have to do is compute the expected value of x, i.e. e of x, and we'll use this formula here. What this says, essentially, is for each pair, for each column here, what we'll do is multiply the pair of values and then sum them all up. So let's have a quick look at that and see how that works. So I've done out of the table here again, and as I said there before, what we have to do is multiply each co outcome by its corresponding probability. So let's look at x equal to 1, where the pro outcome is 1, and the probability of 1 is 0 0.15. All we do is actually multiply 1 by the other. So it, in this case, it's very simple, 0 0.15. So let's move on. The next case, we multiply 2 by 0 0.25. So 2 by 0 0.25, and we got 0 0.50. Likewise, 4 times 0 0.25, we get 1.00. 8 by 0 0.2, we get 1.6. And finally, 16 by 0 0.15, we get 2.40. So what we're going to do now is sum up all those values there and this in this uh, row here. And what we will get is 5.65. So the expected value of the random variable x is 5.65. And that concludes our presentation.